because after the coup of 66, of course, they saw Founders Day and all that was thrown away. But Professor Mills did well, and I was with him when he campaigned in Nkrumah's in uh, hometown, mm -hmm. when he made that promise that he was going to make, make Nkrumah's holiday, a uh, birthday, a public holiday, and he did. But my problem, and I stated that a few days ago in another interview, was that the committee was formed, and no, there was no member from the MPP or the opposition then. Mm -hmm. And I think that created also a problem, because you need to debate with people in opposition too. Mm. And that's part of my problem when we go back to history and Nkrumah introducing a one-party state. That's some of my critique or criticism of Nkrumah is that he kind of shut the door on opposing views. And I think we should always keep opposing views open. We should respect opposing views, even if they are in the minority. So I think that was the problem also Professor Mills did. So in a sense, people in the MPP or the UP from the UP tradition felt slighted. And that's why when they came back to power, uh, they felt that, okay, in 2016, then now it's their turn, they can also do whatever they want. But they ended up making so many mistakes, like 1st July, which is of very much big significance to Ghana's history. You don't make it, it's no longer a public holiday. And I'm glad that John Mahama says that when he comes back to power, he's going to change that. Yeah, so, okay. But so, I have a concern with the back and forth thing. I think we need to rise above that. So, so, so.